I made a huge call in my Patreon Discord. I don't know why. For a little bit, I had a moment of bliss. I was walking over the bridge, the casino, lake flowing under me. I went, ah, oh. and I couldn't hear the sound of someone being glassed in the distance. And I was like, this is, Gold Coast has really improved it for me. You know, I'm up there a lot. I went there 12 times last year. So I think that's why I have a little soft spot for the Gold Coast because A, I fit in there. I look like all the other dudes. It's my style. Everyone there is a waste of space. I know why I like it. They like City Beach and Cotton On as much as I do. I dress like I'm from the Gold Coast. I think that's why I like it. But I also have the mindset of a person who knows better and has been to a bunch of places. And I know that it's not an, like it's not a good place to be. It's fine. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Townsville, Bundaberg, way, way worse places. But... You know, it's fine and they have theme parks and you can go get a photo with fake Batman and that's great. But I made a big call. I breathed in some fresh air. For some reason, I wasn't thinking straight and I went into my Patreon Discord and I was like, hey guys, you know what? And, and I feel silly even saying this out loud. I should have said it out loud before I hit send. I was like, hey guys, <laughs> I think Gold Coast might be my favorite place in Australia. <laughs> And even saying that out loud is the funniest thing I've said the whole podcast. That's so good. Like, you can't write that. I mean, I did. That's the problem. I did write that. But that's, if someone just did that as a comedy festival show and like an hour as to why the Gold Coast was the best place in Australia, I'd be like, oh, God damn, this is comedy. And then when you put something like that out in the universe, you have to expect the universe to strongly disagree and throw it right back in your face. And that's exactly what the universe did. I threw out that positive energy about a well-known shithole and the universe went, I'm sorry, Luke, do you need to check yourself? And the universe checked me. Literally two minutes later, checkmated me, I would say. Two minutes later, I'm in Broad Beach, walking down almost the same street that I was on when I sent that message. And by the way, people in the Discord, I'll read their messages. Um, it was not positive in my favor. This is kind of how, I'm just trying to give an idea for overseas people. This is how people will respond to you when you say that Gold Coast is the best place in Australia. I said, guys, I think the Gold Coast has become my favorite place in Australia. I've hit a new level of white trash. Then... Uh, Someone goes, someone get the shotgun. Luke needs to be put down. And that's fair. You know, if, if someone said that to me, I'd be like, oh, he's had his time exterminate. That's good. He's, he, he's finished his journey here because he's offering nothing to society now. But uh, then uh, someone said, yeah, I'll grab it from the safe. Uh, a few people saying, what the fuck? And then someone said, I love the Gold Coast too. Don't worry, Luke. And that person also maybe needs to end it all. Um, and you know what? So fair enough. So I was in the wrong here. I'd said something positive about the Gold Coast, which as a true Australian, you should never do. Then two minutes later, walking down the street, a guy tries to king hit me. Not joking. It was just, oh, well, not a king hit actually. King hits a coward punch from behind. This guy just tried to coward punch me from the side. So it was like a, you know, a prince hit. And, it, yeah, it's not quite king, but it's not, you know, it's more like a ace of spades. Like it's, oh, ace is more better than the king. Um, yeah, more like a jack hit. So, <laughs> or a queen hit. But, yeah, this guy, let's call it a jack hit because he was fucking jacked. Tats all down his arm, singlet on, having a full meltdown in public. Him and his girlfriend, they're going at it. Just like, just not fucking, just yelling at each other. And I started taking a wide berth of this because I was like, look, there was police around and stuff. So I, I felt kind of safe, but also, nah. I, I was walking down the street with a Woolies bag and then it just goes, oi. And then he said a bad word that starts with C and ends with UNT. And I will never say that word because it's, I mean, I, ha I, mean, I will never say that because you should never say that word. It's, it's a naughty word. And uh, he said, Oi, huh. 
And I was like, oh my God, I'm so offended. I've never heard that word before. Oh my gosh. And, uh, and he's like, come here. And I was like, oh, and I don't know why I was like, nah. <laughs> and I don't think this guy had been told no before because he was six foot two and had a bad attitude. And I don't think a lot of people in his life had been like, hey man, nah. Cause they were scared for their safety. And I should have been, but for some reason I was like, oh no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to come over because I could tell he wanted me to end a dispute or how or back him up in a dispute that he was having with the girl he was uh, having an argument with. And, and by the way, very optimistic on his behalf, like as if I'm going to come over and I heard some bits of their argument. He was definitely in the wrong and yet he's trying to, you know, wave me over threatening by the way, like in, in not in like, I hey, make, would you, do you mind coming over here and helping us sort this out? It was, Oi, come over here. And I didn't know he was looking at me. So I looked around. I was like, Oh great. I'm the only person here. He's definitely talking to me. And I was like, nah. And then he goes, what? And I was like, Oh, I'm not going to do that. And <laughs> like an idiot, I should just kept walking. I did. I didn't stop walking at any point. And then he goes, what? And I was like, oh, I'm not going to do that. And he's like, come here now. As if I'd be like, oh, yes, my liege. Of course, master. I was like, dude, I don't think you're going to king hit me. That's the thing. I saw a bit of weakness. I was like, this guy looks like he's got something to lose. Not a lot to lose, but something. You know, I don't think he's going to, I don't think he's going to ruin my life and, and hit me in public. So I was like, I just kept walking and then that like, came over to me. He left his girlfriend that like, came over to me and he did that thing like where, and I've never been in like a public fight before. I would never fight anyone look at me for two reasons one i would lose the fight nine out of ten times and the second reason is street fighter for me is a video game that's what i used to do at pizza shops that had an arcade machine while i waited for my media margarita so street fighter is a thing that i press a bunch of buttons and then it goes oh ko at the end that's street fighter to me street fighter to him was a Friday night. That was him walking out of the house and going, this is my reality. But he wouldn't sing that because he would bash you if you sung in front of him. So he comes over to me and he did that thing where like guys do where they, they go, like, you know what I mean? Like real aggressive, like, Ugh, and he like, you know, he tried to make me jolt. And I was really proud of myself here. And I think you'll all be proud of me. I, for once in my life, did not bitch it and I didn't flinch. I caught his bluff. Woohoo! I felt like such a boss. I felt like Jason Statham, even though I was probably like, just like, even though my lip was probably trembling a lot, I felt like Jason Statham. He went like that at me and I didn't flinch. I just, and I just raised my eyebrow in like the coolest way. I just went and I gave a little smirk and that made him angrier. And then that was the only point where I was like, okay, now he's probably going to hit me. <laughs> But then he didn't. He's just like, keep walking then. And um, I did. So where-